here's how to do a limit order on Robinhood. So let's say I want to do a limit order for maybe Ford. I'm going to go purchase Ford. I think the ticker's just F, I'm going to Ford Motor. This is not a recommendation to buy Ford. I'm just going to show you an example of a limit order. So over here on the right hand side, we have order type and we have buy order, limit order, etc. So limit order is what I'm going to choose. When you do a limit order, uh, basically you have to choose shares. So you have to buy it in shares. So I'm going to purchase one share and then I can set the price and I can say, okay, Ford's at 1050 right now. Uh, so maybe my price is going to be 1040. Okay. And that's setting a limit price or maybe $10. I want to purchase it at $10. Uh, so I'm setting a limit, whether it's up or down, but if it hits that, it's going to execute the order. And I can set, you know, when this happens, I'm going to do it during market hours, and then you can set an expiration. So how long is this good? Is it good until I cancel it? I think I'm just going to set that, right? This order is good until I cancel it. If it hits $10, purchase one share of Ford. So then I can review the order, and it's going to give me a summary basically saying, I'm plan placing a good until canceled limit order to buy one share of Ford. Uh, my pending order, if executed, will execute at $10 per share or better. So if it drops below that, it'll execute at that. And so then I can hit the buy button. And basically that's going to purchase Ford at $10. $10 is my limit. Whether you purchase something at a high limit or a low limit or sell high low, that's a limit order. And that's how you can do a limit order on Robinhood.